Hello guys, it's me, Sir Dan Apostol. So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss geometric mean or means. So define muna natin yung geometric mean. Geometric mean or means are terms or term between two terms of a geometric sequence. So tandaan natin yung geometric means daw or mean, ito ay term or terms na nasa gitna ng dalawang term in a geometric sequence or progression. So, we have this example na sequence ng geometric sequence which is 3, 9, 27, 81, and 243. Para mas maintindihan natin ang geometric mean, let us assign this as a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So, ang geometric means between a sub 1 and a sub 5 are 9, 27, and 81. Kasi sila yung mga terms in between 3 and 243. And yung geometric mean naman between a sub 1 and a sub 3 is yung a sub 2 which is 9. And yung geometric mean between a sub 2 and a sub 4 that is 20. 7. So, yun yung geometric mean. I hope malinaw sa atin yan. So, let's try this following problems about geometric mean. So, number 1. Find the geometric mean between 1 and 36. So, uh, ang hinahanap lang natin dito ay isang geometric mean. Pag isa lang hinahanap, ang gagamitin, gagamitin nating formula is geometric mean is equal to square root of term A times term B. So, ang term A natin dito ay yung 1 and yung term B natin ay yung 36. So, para makuha natin yung geometric mean between 1 and 36, substitute lang natin yung ating given sa ating formula. So, which is square root of A is 1 times B which is 36 so that is 1 times 36 that is 36 so square root of 36 we have so geometric mean is equal to positive negative 6 so dalawa yung ating possible na geometric mean we have 6 and negative 6 so bakit uh, 6 and negative 6 so try natin dito yung 6 so, ang kanilang magiging uh, common ratio ay 6. So, 1 times 6, that is 6. And 6 times 6, that is 36. And also, pag tinry natin yung negative 6, ang magiging common ratio naman nila ay negative 6. So, 1 times negative 6, that is negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 6, that is 36. So, dalawa yung possible na geometric mean natin dito, which is 6 and negative 6. Insert for geometric means between 5 and negative 160. Now, ang inahanap naman ngayon ay apat na geometric means. So first, i-rewrite muna natin siya as sequence para mas madali nating makuha yung mga geometric mean. So that is 5. Then mag insert daw tayo ng apat. So 1, 2, 3, Four. Then, yung ating last term is negative 160. So, ang gagawin natin dito is to use the formula. Ano ba yung formula natin sa geometric sequence? Gagamitin natin yung a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Para makuha natin yung mga geometric means. Dahil ang hahanapin muna natin is the common ratio. Then, i rewrite natin yung mga given. So, mga given natin dito, we have a sub n, which is negative 160, yung n term. Ito. Yung a sub 1 is 5. Yung n, since uh, meron na tayo ditong term, pag, pag nakuha natin yung geometric means, meron tayong mga 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 terms. So, ang n natin dito ay 6. And yung r, which is the common ratio, ito yung hahanapin natin. Okay? So, substitute lang natin yung mga given sa formula. So, solution. So, we have a sub n that is negative 160 is equal to a sub 1, 5 times common ratio, which is r. So, r lang siya. Then, raise to n, 6, minus 1. So, simplify lang natin yun. So, negative 160 is equal to 5 times r, 6 minus 1, that is 5. Okay? Next, para masolve natin yung r, divide both side by 5. So, negative 160 divided by 5, that is... So, negative 160 divided by 5, that is negative 32, is equal to, ito yung cancel na, so magiging r raised to 5. Then, to solve for r, kailangan lang natin itake yung fifth root ng negative 32 and nung r raised to 5. Para makancel natin yung exponent na 5. So, ang fifth root ng negative 32, that is negative 2 is equal to, so cancel na to, ang matitira ay r. Therefore, yung common ratio natin is negative 2. Now, pag nakuha na yung common ratio, madali na natin makukuha yung ating uh, geometric means. So, ang gagawin lang natin is multiply lang natin yung common ratio sa ating preceding term. So, para makuha itong uh, next term, that is 5, imumultiply lang natin yung 5 sa negative 2. So, that is negative 10. Therefore, next term is negative 10. Then, sunod, yung negative 10 naman, imumultiply natin sa negative 2. So, that is 20. So, the same process, yung 20, multiply natin sa negative 2, ang makukuha natin ay negative 40. And, para makuha yung next term, negative 40 times negative 2 that is positive 80 then ang next makukuha natin doon pag multiply natin yung negative 2 yung negative 160 therefore yung ating mga geometric means between 5 and negative 160 are negative 10 20 negative 40 and 80 so next number 3 Insert two geometric means between 64 and 8. So, since 2 ang hinahanap, same process siya ng number 2. I-rewrite muna natin a sequence. So, 64. Mag-i-insert daw tayo ng dalawang geometric means. Then, gagamitin natin yung formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Dahil hahanapin natin yung common ratio. So, i-rewrite natin yung mga given. So, given natin, hahanapin natin yung common ratio. So, given we have a sub n. So, yung n term natin ay 8. Then, a sub 1, yung first term natin ay 64. Then, yung n natin, since magkakaroon tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, apat na term in a sequence. So, ang n natin ay 4. Then, let's have the solution. So, substitute. Yung a sub n natin is 8 is equal to a sub 1 is 64 times r which is wala pa. Then, n is 4 minus 1. So, that is 8 is equal to 64 times r. 4 minus 1, that is 3. Okay, then, para masolve yung r, divide both side by 64. So, that is 8 over 64 is equal to, cancel, cancel, so that is r raised to 3. Then, i-lowest term muna natin tong ating 8 over 64. So, ang lowest term niya ay 1 over 8. 
Kasi ang common uh, uh, common factor nila ay 8. So, 8 divided by 8, 1. 64 divided by 8, that is 8. Equals to r raised to 3. Then, to solve for r, take lang natin yung cube root ng 1 over 8 and cube root of r raised to 3. So, yung cube root ng 1 over 8, that is 1 half is equal to, so cancel na to, ang matitira ay r. So, ang common ratio natin ay 1 half. Since meron na tayong common ratio, ang gagawin lang natin is to multiply the common ratio sa ating preceding term. So, ang first term natin ay 64. Multiply lang natin yung common ratio na 1 half. So, that is 64 times 1 half. So, kalahati na 64, that is 32. So, ang second term natin ay 32. Next, yung 32, multiply natin sa 1 half. So, that is kalahati ng 32. That is 16. So, yung next term ay 16. Therefore, ang geometric means between 64 and 8 are 32 and 16. I hope natuto kayo sa ating video on how to find or insert geometric means or mean. Thank you for watching and see you on our next upload. God bless everyone!